gloss is dropping. You like my hair? She thinks just dropping. Hey guys, I'm in a new setting because I got tired of sitting up in the car. And I know y'all got tired of me sitting in the car. So I'm in my room just standing up. And today I wanted to come on here and talk about what you can expect when you have braces but you have a gap. Um, everybody's teeth is different. Everybody have different problems or whatever. But I'm, I'm just making this video strictly for those who have a gap in the center of their teeth. What you can expect when you get braces because I feel like that process may be different um, than people who have like double teeth or whatever the case may be. So in my experience, the things that I've um, went through or that I've noticed while having this gap is that um you can't expect to experience a lot of tension between your two front teeth and obviously that's because you have the gap you have the space there and your teeth are um they're coming together so they're really pulling together that's if, if nothing is wrong with your other teeth nothing major that's like the main point of tension and so that you you can definitely expect to feel some discomfort there um, you can expect to have minor headaches, but um, I think that's with braces in general. I don't think that's just due to having in a gap. It may be a little bit more because of the extra tension in the middle, but yeah. Um, you can expect your pain to subside around month four slash five because that's kind of when you get used to it. You just kind of get used to going to get your braces tightened. You're used to having the metal on your mouth. You're just used to the experience as a whole. So um, you can expect to be used to the pain around the fourth or fifth month. Now, this is like a specific thing to having a gap. You can expect to have um, jumbled gums between your teeth. And it's because your gums are like now shifting as well in the process so i'm going to show you guys how my gums are like jumbled up so let's see do you see right here Ooh, my teeth look so nasty right here it's not focusing how i want Uh, it's, it's jumbled right in between there there's something on my braces in my bracket but that's whatever but yes like all up in here my my gums are like mushed together more it didn't used to be like that it used to be more of a smooth surface like like down here it's hard to tell my camera don't want to focus but it was if you look in your mouth and you don't have braces do you'll notice your gums are kind of like a smooth surface they're not like kind of bubbled up how it is when you're closing the gap with braces because your teeth are shifting so your gums are shifting it's all just shifting so I guess my new, my gums have to like set in place. That's kind of what the dentist was telling me. Like my gums have to get used to being in this new position and then it'll go down. And I have, I wrote down notes. Um, you also need to know that your teeth may move fast. I've had my braces on for almost 20 weeks and I'll show you guys a before picture like the the first week of me getting my braces on in that week 19 and when I tell you I did not expect my teeth to move this fast like my teeth move so quick it's ridiculous so be aware that like if you like your gap a little bit or if you want to keep it a little bit you need to kind of already have that in mind before getting your braces because your teeth are probably going to change really quick and if you don't already know what you want to do it might not be enough time for you to make that decision you might have to go all the way because let's say that i want want to keep my gap at this size i don't really know how that will work out because i still have other gaps on the side and stuff and if he was to take my braces off i just don't think that my process will go 
how it should i think if i was going to keep keep my gap a little bit i would have needed to tell him that in the beginning so that he could do my mouth properly and put you know know what he needed to do so know what you want to do as far as are you wanting to close it completely or are you wanting to leave a little bit before getting your braces because it is a fast transition um and then this these next things are like um subjective you know what i'm saying you may start to miss your gap like i am i don't miss it like oh i want it back but it's like dang you know it's really over with like that was part of my identity for so long and it was something that made me who i am so to not have it no more it i do feel kind of sad even though i think it's for the better i do kind of like i look at myself and i look at my old pictures and i'm just like i don't look different but I don't know, I feel different. Some days I just feel like, dang, I don't have my gap no more. And you may feel like your face is changing. That is something that I definitely feel like um, the way I talk, my jaw moves different, my lips look bigger. Um, and I guess it's because like my teeth are, are also coming in my mouth more. I'm not as like, I don't have as much of an overbite as I did because when my teeth were spread wider, this tooth was like a little bit more crooked and so it kind of like stood out just a little bit more. You probably wouldn't notice if you wasn't staring in my mouth, but I noticed because I know my mouth, you know what I'm saying? So I've noticed that since they've come back and this tooth has kind of faced forward a little bit more how it should. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, my lips are bigger because my teeth are further back in my mouth. So my lips protrude out more, if that make any sense. Um, you will start to feel like you look like everybody else, but that's how I feel. That's subjective. I'm not going to say you will exactly, but that's how I feel like. Dang, I look like everybody else, but it's just like, there are so many other great qualities about myself that that's the least of my worries. Like, I know deep down inside, I'm not like everybody else, but I'm not going to lie. When I do smile, it's like, it's nothing unique. Like, in order for me to have something unique or for a person to know what's unique about me, you would have to talk to me. You can't just look at me anymore and see like, oh, the girl with the gap. You would have to like get to know my personality to know what's unique about me versus me just smiling was like unique enough. You can identify me that way. So that's something I noticed. Um, I also noticed my bite has changed a little bit as well. And that's just the same thing with my jaw. Like the way I chew now is more straight and aligned. It's not kind of like, I don't know. I can't really describe it because I don't have my gap no more. So it's like now I eat a certain way. But if you watch my vlogs or look back at my old videos, I used to talk differently. And I still do kind of talk like with my my, the bottom of my jaw kind of goes to the side a little bit, but not nearly as much as it did when I had my gap. Now I talk more like <laughs> how I'm supposed to, I guess. Um, my tongue used to like, the way it rested in my mouth was, was different as well. I don't really know how to explain it, but I, tr I consciously train my tongue. I'm training my tongue to move a certain way when I talk and to lay a certain way in my mouth. So I honestly haven't noticed much progress until I'm standing here talking about it now. And I've definitely made progress because like, I don't know if you just go back and watch a couple videos from when I first got my braces, my tongue came out of my mouth a lot when I spoke. So you can expect just a lot of changes in the way you talk and the way you speak. When I first got my braces, I had a lips lifts have you say it i had one of those i still kind of have it a little bit but it's not as nearly as bad as it was when i first got my braces and then just another thing that i would just advise you to do if you have braces in general not just with the gap but with braces i would advise you to use measuring tape and measure your gap so you can like actually have a numerical value to measure your gap i didn't do that i just know certain things that can fit between my gap so like Let's say 
uh, this was once able to fit between my gap. This eyebrow pencil. It's clearly not able to fit between there anymore. Or, you know, like, I just have, like, little things that I knew that could fit between my gap that can't fit between there anymore. And, um, I really wish I would have used measuring tape because I feel like that would have been a better indicator of how much progress I've made. And then another thing that I would advise you to do is to keep a picture diary. I've been keeping a picture diary from week one. And every week I take a picture of my teeth. And that's just like my mile marker to see how much progress I've made. And every week when I take a new picture, I just sit there and I look at my pictures in amazement. Like, I can't believe that my teeth made this much progress in this little amount of time like it's amazing um and as far as that picture diary goes i will be uploading that at the end of my journey so make sure you like make sure you comment and subscribe so you don't miss that picture diary because when i tell y'all it's gonna be like oh, it's gonna be like because it's dope. Like, I, I'll be amazed myself. And then sometimes I'll show people around me and they'll just be like, wow, G, like, your teeth really moving. So, hope you all like this video. See y'all later. Bye.